start with contracting sprites. Chapter 66, Attacked Although it was called a spiritual spring, it was actually just a well. According to Heavenly King Zhou, this spiritual spring could transform the spiritual force it absorbed into some kind of special spring water. Drinking this kind of spring water could slightly increase a sprite's spiritual force. This kind of spiritual spring isn't considered precious. It's just merely useful to entry-level sprites. He then said, many of your sprites are currently at the limits of their spiritual force. The effects of the spiritual spring will still be effective after breakthrough. According to Heavenly King Zhou, the special thing about the spiritual spring was that after the spring water left the spiritual spring, the effect quickly faded. If they wanted to enjoy the effects of the spiritual spring, they had to bring their sprites here personally. Of course, drinking too much of it would be useless. Every treasure would show the best effect the first time. Heavenly King Zhou's gaze swept across the dozen or so sprites near the spiritual spring before he instructed Tide Calling Spring Sprite, give each sprite a mouthful of spring water. Just then, the clear spring water with bits of sparkling white light emerged. More than ten mouthfuls of spring water were controlled and poured into the mouths of every sprite. Ku. Silkworm Baby was caught off guard and wanted to speak, but it quickly shut its mouth again, afraid of wasting any drop of the spring water. All right, we can go back now. Heavenly King Joe said. The group of newbies was stunned. So, unpracticed? But in Su Hao's eyes. Silkworm Baby's spiritual force was increasing. The spiritual spring was far less valuable than the heart of attributes, but Silkworm Baby, which had just broken through, happened to have potential that could be explored. His spiritual force increased to about 215. Little Fire Crow's growth was even more pronounced. Its spiritual force, which was initially less than 110, had increased to 130. This was also the reason why Su Hao had nurtured Little Fire Crow's foundation very well. After spending about two hours in the New World, Su Hao and the others left under the lead of Heavenly King Zhou. When they left, to the surprise of Su Hao, the checks were even stricter than when they came in. They even specially checked the pile of treasures dug up by Silkworm Baby. The problem was that there was no problem, but it made Su Hao understand some rules. For instance, there was no charge for carrying items below 20 kilograms. But when one exceeded 20 kilograms, they had to be charged a certain amount of border fee. It was the same for bringing things from Planet Aquamarine. The next day, at 9 a.m., the weather was gloomy. Large buses drove away from the entrance of Battle Preparation Village like a long dragon. The joint examination of the five schools came to an end. In the car, many students were chattering about the joint examination, the training, and the hardships back then. When they recalled the memories, they were all filled with pride and fulfillment. They were people who had survived in the forest. Compared to when they just arrived, everyone looked completely different. Sprites that had gone through the baptism of fighting in the wild also had a bit of murderous aura, no longer looking like sprite pets that could only act cute. They were all battle companions. Great God Su, you're so awesome this time. You've won the championship on behalf of Aran City First High. It's already a sure thing that you can get into a prestigious sprite school in the future. Yes, yes, Big Boss Su. At the start, I already felt that it was abnormal how you weren't on the list of seated candidates. How can it be possible with Big Boss abilities? Indeed, Big Boss. You've used your battle results to smack the faces of Affiliated High, First High, and those other seated candidates. Su Hao was rendered speechless. What should he say? He had nothing to say. Su Hao closed his eyes to rest. The interface map surfaced in his mind. The map moved with him as the center. The range was not that big. However, Su Hao was currently on the bus. It was a long distance from Battle Preparation Village back to NCIT. He was exploring whether there was any chance that a spiritual plant marked on the map would appear on Planet Aquamarine. It seems like, something has appeared. Su Hao was shocked. 
On the map, a few dots appeared on the left and right sides of the road ahead. As the bus moved forward, the dots enlarged rapidly. Su Hao saw it clearly. It wasn't a special item. It was a sprite. Wild sprites? Or the sprites of other sprite trainers? Su Hao looked out of the window. The woods on both sides of the road were lush. According to the map, the sprite was hidden in the woods up front. Hidden? Su Hao suddenly felt that something was wrong. Suddenly. The bus in front made an ear-piercing screech and stopped urgently. The bus Su Hao was in braked urgently too, its body shaking violently. Countless students screamed out of surprise from inside the bus. Fortunately, everyone had their seat belts on, so they weren't thrown out from the impact. But their minds already turned blank. What happened? Why did you suddenly stop? Did you get into an accident? Everything was in a mess, and some sprites which didn't manage to grab onto anything firmly bumped up front, their eyes spinning. Su Hao couldn't see what was happening in front either, but he suddenly had an ominous feeling. Sitting at the front of the car was the older sprite trainer of the six-winged flying silkworm. He immediately unbuckled his seatbelt and stood up. Don't panic, he shouted loudly. Everyone, pay attention to your surroundings. Get off in an orderly manner, but don't go too far away. Before he finished speaking, a raging and burning fire dragon burst out of the woods on the right, attacking the bus that had already came to a standstill. Slash it! The six-winged flying silkworm turned into an afterimage and smashed through the car window. With a flap of its wings, a golden line burst out, slashing the thick fire dragon directly, sending sparks flying everywhere. After slashing the fire dragon, the six-winged flying silkworm got ready to rush into the woods. At this moment, a golden energy ball flew out of the woods on the left. The older sprite trainer's eyes almost popped out of their sockets. Once the metal element energy ball exploded in the bus, it would create an explosion that dealt damage to the bus. It could take the lives of many students in an instant. Since they had left the battle preparation village, the sprite trainer already returned the wristband borrowed during the joint examination. Otherwise, the strength of the wristband could still protect the students from the explosion of this energy ball. The six-winged flying silkworm hurried back. But it was too late. There was even a bus in the middle. Even if he wanted to use granule machine gun to intercept it, he couldn't do it. At this moment, the older sprite trainer heard a calm and reliable voice. Silkworm baby, energy ball. A light yellow sprite smashed through the window with a green ball of light, the size of a basketball, condensed in its mouth, and flew out with a whoosh. Boom. The two golden and green energy balls collided in the air. The violent explosion set off waves of shock as the car window on the left side shattered with a pop. Using his hand to support himself, Su Hao leaped out of the broken window. He quickly scanned his surroundings. They discovered the culprit which intercepted the bus ahead. Rows of sharp spikes pierced the highway. A final evolved form of a small rolling stone, a stone giant more than four meters tall, emerged from the woods. He raised his arm to smash the bus, but was stopped by a tyrant bear summoned. The figures of unfamiliar sprites also appeared around the other buses carrying students from in city first high. And right then, Silkworm Baby who also rushed out of the bus had already thrown out a second energy ball at an extremely fast speed. It exploded loudly in the woods. A golden roaring lion leaped out of the woods, with a figure sitting on its back. His face was murderous. It stared hard at Su Hao. Chapter 67, Fight or Escape On the quiet road, Several buses carrying in city first high students were parked haphazardly in the middle of the road. Two of them didn't manage to stop properly and crashed into the woods on the side. One of the cars almost flipped over. At that critical moment, the sprite trainer Luo Jingtian who was sitting in the car summoned a mountain moving ape. The mountain moving ape, which was more than three meters tall, reached out and pushed the half-collapsed bus back. At this moment, 
the convoy of an city had long separated from the convoy of other schools. The students on the bus were stunned by the sudden attack, and only a few sprite trainers accompanying them regained their composure. The sprite that carried a sprite with it immediately attacked. Those who didn't carry any sprites with them also summoned their sprites right away. In front of the convoy, Coach Xiong roared angrily, attacking students, you all, are courting death. He used a sprite commandeering ability. In front of the vehicle, Tyrant Bear, which was about the same height and strength as the stone giant, emitted a red glow and let out a thunderous roar. Roar. Tyrant Bear pushed the rock giant away, at the same time, circles of dirty yellow light emerged from its mouth, gradually condensing into a dark yellow light beam, which it shot out forcefully. Bang! The yellow light beam hit the arms of the stone giant, pushing the huge figure back continuously, smashing those spikes that protruded from the ground. At this point, Coach Xiong finally had the time to turn around as he asked, Are all the students all right? At the back. Several sprite trainers rushed out of the car. Old Chen's face was as cold as ice. She hurriedly ran to the back with the marionette. She had just witnessed the bus at the back suffering the main serious attack. It's all right, it's all right. She saw it. On one side, a flaming bat was trying to ignite the bus three to five times, but was stopped by a six-winged flying silkworm. The flaming bat immediately turned around and leaped towards another car in front. It was intercepted by another sprite trainer's sprite. On the left side of the last bus, near the woods. The moment the golden lion and the light yellow figure touched each other, the latter flew backwards and slammed onto the bus, shaking the whole vehicle. But its injuries weren't serious. It shook its head and stood up immediately. The figure standing by the woods had a stunned look on his face. How can a high school student's sprite? His expression turned fanatical again as killing intent filled his eyes. Kill him, kill this student. They would be able to obtain supreme glory. Even Su Hao was a little scared by the fanatic and murderous look in his eyes. If not for the fact that Su Hao had just gone through three days of wild battles, he was certain that it would be very difficult for him to be as calm as he was now. Even so. His heart was still beating rapidly. However, there was a whole train of students behind him. It would be even more dangerous to leave this place. He even had the urge to run away. The moment he saw old Chen coming over, Su Hao finally breathed a sigh of relief. The most dangerous moment was when they were suddenly attacked. As long as they recovered, An City's convoy would still gain the upper hand with their sprites. It was just that Silkworm Baby wasn't very willing to back down. It felt that it could fight, and its whole body was full of endless power. It was just that it was unfamiliar with this force, so it was caught off guard. Su so Hao hurriedly stopped it. There will be plenty of fighter jets, but there will only be one go at life. Just leave it to the sprites of the other teachers. Stability was the most important. He felt that the golden roaring lion could break free from the marionette's entanglement any moment and pounce towards him for an attack. However, it wasn't Su Hao's style to stand foolishly and defend passively either. Suddenly, his eyes lit up, and he saw the figure standing by the woods. He gritted his teeth and gave the order. Silkworm baby, give him an energy ball. Gurgle. The energy ball flew out with a whoosh, blasting up countless rocks and dust. Su Hao forced himself not to look away. He fixed his eyes on the attacker, who had his hands covering his head, a faint light shield emerging around his body. It was a sprite commandeering that only official sprite trainers could use protection. With that layer of light shield, Su Hao's orders became even more decisive as he commanded, give him a few more shots. Gurgle. The energy ball flew out with a whoosh. The golden roar lion, which was constantly bumping towards Su Hao's direction, suddenly jumped back and stood in front of the attacker. Boom. The shock wave sent the golden roaring lion and the attacker flying. They tumbled a few rounds before falling to the ground. The light shield on the attacker's body was still around him. He stood up uninjured while the golden roaring lion was covered in wounds. 
the marionette turned its psychic power into a hammer and threw it towards them. In just a moment, the golden roar lion was already at its last breath. Silkworm Baby, which had successfully taken revenge, made a coup sound. However, the attacker didn't take another look at his sprite. His eyes were fixed on Su Hao the whole time. Suddenly, he roared, Team Leader, there's a key target here. Su Hao was shocked. Silkworm Baby immediately became alert and looked around. Little Fire Crow, which was standing on top of his head, spread its wings, ready to use them to defend at any moment. It had already used a good pair of wings attack as a defensive skill, and was becoming more and more proficient at it. At this moment. Stop it. Vice President Luo's angry roar came from the distance. A grey shadow rushed into the sky. It was a strange-looking sprite with wings on its back. Its whole body seemed to be made of grey rock. Gargoyle. The gargoyle would evolve from a rock spot ghost, and would finally evolve into a gargoyle dragon. Although this one in front of him wasn't its final form, Su Hao could tell with one look. That it was elite level. It didn't evolve and was thus slightly weaker. It was intercepted by the mountain moving ape previously. However, it struggled to break free despite its injuries. In front of the convoy, Tyrant Bear had injured the stone giant, but it didn't dare to leave so it stood there stubbornly. The other three attacking sprites were stopped by the sprites of the other sprite trainers. The mountain moving ape leaped and chased after the gargoyle on the bus, but it was still slower than the gargoyle's flying speed. The marionette used its psychic power to form an invisible wall in front of it, blocking its way. The gargoyle didn't slow down at all and bumped over, freezing slightly before it continued to fly forward. The form teacher of class 1, Old Gu, got his tar mori to throw out more than a dozen seed grenades. The gargoyle endured them without dodging and continued to charge towards Su Hao. The grey shadow kept enlarging in Su Hao's vision. At the critical moment, Su Hao calmed down completely instead. There was only that grey figure in his eyes. He had two choices. The first was to hide in the woods nearby and use the trees as cover to buy some time. But he may not be in time. A few trees that weren't that thick were not enough to stop elite level sprites like the gargoyle. Then. Energy ball, aim at the spot where the gargoyle's left wing and torso are connected. It was already too late to say this out loud. The focus at the critical moment made him send his thoughts to Silkworm Baby in an instant. The gargoyle's left wing was already injured. Breaking free from psychic and resistant seed grenades exacerbated his injuries. At this point, the connection points were already covered in cracks. All these had long been shown in the detailed information of the gargoyle. Su Hao saw through everything. The gargoyle was just holding on. Just to kill him. What kind of grudge and enmity did he have? Coach Xiong roared. The mountain moving ape gave chase. The marionette wanted to pounce forward and grab the gargoyle, but it was too late. At this moment, one, two, three, four, and five energy balls appeared in front of Silkworm Baby. The gargoyle was already approaching. At the most dangerous and easiest time to hit. Five energy balls were thrown out one after another. Chapter 68, After the Situation In that instant, the gargoyle's gaze turned sharp. It didn't dodge, and even if it did, it wasn't in time because it would lose the final attack time. However, it adjusted its position slightly and moved away from the weak spot on its left wing. Its sharp claws glowed with cold light. L. Even sprite commandeering, protection would be torn apart by it in an instant. At this moment, the few energy balls that flew over with a whoosh suddenly spun, changing from a straight line to an arc. The gargoyle, which had just shifted its body, had its left wing hit by the energy balls flying past just as it raised its claws. Bang! The eruption of energy raised waves of dust. Little Fire Crow spread its black wings and covered Su Hao's body, blocking the incoming shock waves. Silkworm Baby stood firmly in front, its big eyes staring unblinkingly. Amidst the dust and smoke, 
a grey figure flew out from not far away from Su Hao, brushing against the ground. It made a crack on the road. It was the gargoyle. A part of its left wing had been broken so it lost its balance and fell from the sky. However, it still got up fiercely and made a move to pounce. At this moment, the mountain-moving ape finally arrived. With a heart full of anger, he leaped forward and rode on the gargoyle. One punch, two punches. The punches came crashing down. Countless cracks appeared on the ground of the highway. The gargoyle was smashed into bits and pieces, completely losing all signs of life. It died. The other sprites that attacked them. The flaming bat was soon pushed onto the ground. The golden roaring lion was long dead, and the other sprites were also on their last breaths, or were simply dealt with a last hit. Only a few attackers were left but they were all surrounded by sprites. Are you all right? Old Chen walked over and asked. Su Hao shook his head and asked, where are the others? Only a few students suffered minor injuries, but a few sprites were affected. Their injuries are very serious, but they can still be saved. Teacher, who exactly are those attackers? Old Chen hesitated for a moment, but still replied, I'm not very sure about the details, but you can understand it as spies, traitors, death warriors, and so on. At this moment, Coach Xiong walked over and patted his shoulder. Well done. I heard that you intercepted the energy ball at the right time. Otherwise, I'm afraid many people would have lost their lives. Even I got a fright when I dealt with the gargoyle at the end. He also had lingering fears. It's only right, said Su Hao. Gurgle. Silkworm baby also made a noise at the side. Coach Xiong looked at it and laughed. You've done a great service, of course. The guild will reward you when you go back. Gurgle. Gurgle, gurgle. Silkworm baby became, at once. After Su Hao left, Coach Xiong's face darkened again when he saw the mess all over the ground. He looked at Luo Jingtian and asked, Did you find that team leader? Vice President Luo shook his head. The captured attacker's sprites were only entry-level, mid-level, and high-level, not contractors of stone giants and stone gargoyles. That contractor was very likely the team leader that the attackers spoke of. But he never showed up. It was very likely that the other party was a long-distance commander. In fact, after the gargoyle died, it directly used a summoning method to bring the stone giant away. The stone giant is huge and wants to ambush here. That team leader must have appeared nearby before. I'll inform the relevant departments and let him check the surveillance cameras in the vicinity, Coach Xiong said. Vice President Luo nodded. I'll get an illusionist master. Hopefully we can pry valuable clues out of these people. But he didn't have high hopes. That team leader might know something, but these attackers. From the look in their eyes, Luo Jinghong knew that they were just brainwashed minions. But he still had to ask. Before long, the nearby association of sprite trainers sent a team over. Together with the local police department, they dealt with this major attack and escorted the students all the way back to Uncity. Uncity. When they got back, it was already four in the afternoon. As they were the parties involved, they still needed to go to the Association of Sprite Trainers to record their statements. Because of this incident, the group of students didn't have the mood to chat anymore. After leaving the guild, they all headed back home. Su Hao was left behind. He received a certificate of bravery and 200,000 yuan reward. According to Coach Xiong, the reward amount was already the highest in the stipulated range. But apart from the monetary reward, there was also a high-end and delicious jade powder specially rewarded for Silkworm Baby for its meritorious service. Silkworm Baby Instructor, about this, after receiving the reward, Su Hao asked. Coach Xiong said, this matter is categorized as a terrorist attack by sprites. The cars from the other schools were also attacked, but we were the unlucky ones, and were the ones who were given special attention. Su Hao thought about it and asked, are there a lot of such attacks? 
Coach Xiong deliberated for a moment before saying, In the past, there weren't many, but these types of terrorist attacks have become slightly more frequent in recent years. Of course, that's referring to the entire world. This time, it's mainly because all the newbie sprite trainers in an city have gathered together. This made them feel that this could be an opportunity. Do you want to ask why? I can only say that our world isn't peaceful. There are terrorist organizations secretly stirring up trouble. Do you want to know? If you want to know, go to Sprite University. When you become an elite level Sprite trainer, you'll know what you need to know. Su Hao went crazy. It was very easy to get beaten up for saying half of what one wanted to say. Unfortunately, he couldn't beat Coach Xiong either. He could only nod gloomily. I heard that the leader of the attackers hasn't been caught yet. Sir, I won't be attacked again, right? Coach Xiong shook his head and assured him, the possibility is minimal. Of course, try not to leave an city during this period of time, and don't go to remote places. If you're still worried, I can get the clay monster to follow you around temporarily. The clay monster was the entry-level high-level sprite in Coach Xiong's hands. If possible, I hope my family can receive protection. On the contrary, Su Hao wasn't too worried about himself. He would immediately begin Silkworm Baby's evolution. After it evolved, the little rascal's abilities wouldn't be considered weak anymore. But his parents were ordinary people. He had to speculate about those fanatical and terrifying attackers with the most evil thoughts. This is very simple, Coach Xiong said. You've already won the Joint Examination Champion. The in-city authorities will probably reward you with a house. There are official Sprite Trainers protecting you 24 hours a day in the high-end Sprite Trainer neighborhood. Upon hearing this, Su Hao felt a lot more relieved. He thought about it again. What the f asterisk ck, they were actually rewarding him with a house. A house in the high-end residential area. Although. An city wasn't a big city, a house was at most 2 million yuan and it was still far from matching up to the heart of attributes. It still gave him a huge shock. What would happen if he became the champion in the college entrance examination? It's just a house. And City even gave me a villa previously. You're a student with a bright future, you shouldn't care about such a small amount of money. Su Hao was rendered speechless. Although he seemed to be praised, why didn't he feel any joy at all? By the way, your silkworm baby has just broken through to entry level. It hasn't registered its official sprite trainer identity yet, right? You can register it in the guild now so that you don't have to make another trip. Coach Xiong said. Su Hao's mood became better again. Primary level sprite trainers received a monthly allowance of 3,000 yuan. A monthly allowance of 6,000 yuan for an intermediate level sprite trainer. It was already quite a lot. It was even better than whoring. Chapter 69, Sprite Trainer Level, Happy New Year Everyone. Guild. Sprite Trainer Identification Registry With Coach Xiong's help, Su Hao completed the registration of the official Sprite Trainer identity swiftly. He was from an city. Regardless of whether he worked at the Association of Sprite Trainers, his initial identity registration had to be done here. Su Hao was now registering detailed information. There would also be some checks later on. For example, identity checks criminal records checks, etc. Those would be even stricter than the checks before contracting sprites. This was because entry-level sprites were more lethal than ordinary firearms. In a sense, official sprite trainers were privileged people. The verification process was very cumbersome, but after the attack, Su Hao only felt that it was normal. For those who had criminal records and couldn't pass the verification, their sprites would be restricted. Those who had relatives overseas or those who had special family reasons could also register for an official identity, but according to Coach Xiong, they would be regulated and restricted. After the verification was passed, the identity file would be left in the in-city guild as the information still had to be uploaded to the Union of Sprite Trainers. In the future, 
if he got into a sprite university, they would even transfer the corresponding file to the university. There's definitely no problem with your evaluation, but you still need to wait a while to get the official sprite trainer identity. Instructor, what do I do if I want to improve my sprite trainer level in the future? Su Hao asked. In the office, Coach Xiong took out two cigarettes, put one away, and lit the other himself. He thought for a moment and answered, You still don't have a systematic understanding of the levels of sprite trainers, hey? Su Hao nodded. After all, these weren't taught in high school. It was also very difficult for him to differentiate between real and fake information on the internet. Coach Xiong said, after a sprite enters entry level, the sprite trainer certification is categorized into primary level, intermediate level, advanced level, elite level, master level, heavenly king level, and... He paused for a moment before speaking of the last level that Su Hao had never heard of. Crown level. Crown sprite trainers are the highest symbols of honor and status in our dragon nation, and even in the whole world. And sprite trainers of every level have corresponding certification requirements. Most importantly, the cultivation levels of sprites, such as entry level, elite level, extraordinary level, monarch level, corresponds to the main force and even trump cards of ordinary level, elite level, master level, and heavenly king level sprite trainers. Su so Hao suddenly discovered a blind spot. Coach Xiong was referring to normal level. You should know that entry-level cultivation for sprites is a hurdle. There is also an obvious dividing line in the aspect of compressing spiritual force. Elite, extraordinary, and monarch rank sprites similarly have clear boundaries. In the past, sprites weren't categorized into primary level, intermediate level, or high level, Coach Xiong slowly explained the reason. But many sprites and many sprite trainers may only stop at ordinary level in their entire lives. This level used to include too many people. It also made many sprite trainers who had no hope of becoming elite level lose their motivation to move forward. Later on, the Union of Sprite Trainers issued a new level certification, categorizing the ordinary level into primary, intermediate, and advanced levels, and even provided some subsidies. At this point, Su Hao understood a little of what Coach Xiong said. In fact, the instructor was also telling him not to be complacent just because he achieved a small achievement. There was still a long way to go. Primary level sprite trainers require one entry level sprite. The condition for a mid level sprite trainer is to have a mid level sprite. High level sprite trainers need a high level sprite and a sprite above entry level. Elite level sprite trainers require at least one elite level sprite and two sprites above entry level. Coach Xiong paused and looked at Su Hao. You're asking how to calculate levels? Spiritual force above 300 is considered mid-level, and above 600 is considered high-level. But the union certifies the attack strength of the sprite and not the spiritual force value. A sprite with 300 points of spiritual force and proficiency in the usage of unique skills will only create an attack strength at 300 pawns. As long as the unique skill displayed by the sprite exceeds 300 pawns, it will be considered mid-level sprite. Coach Xiong saw the eagerness in Su Hao's eyes. Why? You want Silkworm Baby to test its attack strength. He recalled this Silkworm Baby's amazing performance and forcefully swallowed back the words your Silkworm Baby had just broken through. Yes. Su Hao nodded. Silkworm Baby's spiritual force was only 215, it was definitely not enough to reach 300. But, Silkworm Baby's spiritual force had been compressed multiple times. It was thicker, more condensed, and the strength of its unique skill was also higher. He decided to give it a try. The 3000 yuan remuneration becoming 6000 yuan was a necessary thing for Su Hao. It was easy to get things done with someone in the guild. Su so Hao knew Coach Xiong, Uncle Pan, Vice President Luo, and the others. They went straight past the usual application waiting time and arrived at the testing round. In a large room similar to the training room, a target slowly protruded from the wall facing them. A staff member said, 
ask your sprite to attack the target with unique skills, melee unique skills or long range unique skills. Use what it's best at. Gurgle. Upon hearing this, Su Hao turned to ask the staff member, can it store power? The staff member smiled. Sure, as long as it can accumulate energy, it doesn't matter how long it stores it. Although he wasn't an official sprite trainer, he knew the instability of releasing spiritual force. It wasn't as if the unique skill could deal damage that was several times greater as long as it had time to accumulate energy. It was impossible. At most, its attack power could turn out slightly higher than during regular battles. This was also an unspoken rule during the test. The staff member looked at Su Hao. Are you ready? If you are, let's begin. You have a total of three chances to take the test. In other words, if you couldn't meet the requirements after all three tries, you could just forget it. With that said, he turned on the testing system. The top of the target lit up with a faint light, and several high-frame cameras inside the room aimed at the front of the target from various directions. This was recorded, a record to leave behind evidence. Su Hao stepped back and gave Silkworm Baby the center position before he commanded, Use your maximum power energy ball. Gurgle. Its little face was solemn. Little Fire Curl landed on Su Hao's shoulder nervously, cheering on with a squawk. In an instant, green light dots gathered in front of Silkworm Baby, gradually forming a ball. From the size of a peanut to the size of a table tennis ball and then to the size of a basketball. The formation of the energy ball was very slow. But also very stable. Gurgle. Gurgle. Amidst the focused calls, the ball of energy that was the size of a basketball continued to expand. It expanded one round, then two rounds. The emerald green patterns on Silkworm Baby's back became even more vivid. The staff member who wasn't a sprite trainer opened his mouth slightly. Then, he decisively took a few steps back, a few more steps back, and then a few more steps back. It retreated all the way to the door, ready to run out at any moment. However, this huge ball of energy didn't explode. The emerald green in the inner circle was eye-catching, and countless light dots revolved rapidly around the center of the circle. Then, it was thrown out forcefully. The supersized energy ball flew over 20 meters in front of Silkworm Baby rather cumbersomely and hit right onto the center of the target. It blasted. Bang. Chapter 70, Silkworm Baby Wants to Get an ID Card The explosion of the super-large energy ball caused waves of air to spread outwards. Su Hao only felt a gust of wind slapping wildly on his face. It messed up his handsome hair. How much? He looked at the display screen above the target. The attack intensity was increasing rapidly. Instantly, it exceeded 300. 400. 500. In the end, it stopped at 588. What the f asterisk ck? Su Hao turned his head at the sound and saw the staff member's mouth shaping like he could swallow a duck egg. He didn't even know how to straighten his glasses. He was dazed for a moment, and hurriedly checked to see if there was anything wrong with the test data. He received a slap from reality again. Regardless of the data, just judging from the power of the explosion of this energy ball, was it something an ordinary mid-level sprite could have created? Freak! Little Sue, this silkworm baby of yours is really, really. No matter how much Coach Xiong thought about it, in his memory, he had never seen a sprite reach this stage despite just breaking through. But he thought about it from another perspective. The strength of this silkworm baby's spiritual force had always been very high. Perhaps it had outstanding potential, but it was also related to Su Hao's nurturing. In addition, silkworm baby had absorbed a very precious heart of attributes, and its absorption rate far exceeded that of ordinary sprites. It was also said that Heavenly King Zhou had given them a spiritual spring reward. This was very likely the reason why its unique skill was so strong even though it had just broken through. Coach Xiong's analysis was reasonable and well-founded, which made Su Hao very relieved. It's still a little reckless. But on second thoughts, 
Heavenly King Zhou witnessed how Silkworm Baby was a match for the White Seal, so he didn't question any further. This meant that although examples of Silkworm Babies were rare, there, were still people, and sprites, who could achieve it. Perhaps the higher UPS had also mastered multiple compression methods. Or perhaps they had other special cultivation methods. Su Hao had no idea. The power of Silkworm Baby's energy ball somewhat exceeded his expectations. But after thinking about it carefully, it was reasonable too. Silkworm Baby's spiritual force was roughly equal to 0.9 entry-level sprites. And now, after three compressions, it had completed the entry-level breakthrough large compression too. This was equivalent to 0.9 plus 0.45 plus 1 equals 2.35. When ordinary unique skills were used, those skills would be more than twice as strong. It wasn't too much to charge 588 after that as well. The staff member finally finished checking and verified that there was nothing wrong with the machine. He swallowed and asked. Are you guys still going to continue? I mean, continue to see if it can break through 600. Silkworm Baby tried. As it turned out, its first condition was the best. In the last two rounds, it scored 580 and 566. Its condition was gradually dropping. It had no fate with the high-level title. Su so Hao didn't find it a pity. In any case, Little Fire Crow hadn't broken through yet, so his current status as a sprite trainer couldn't be raised to advanced level either. The test was done. In a few days, he. Su so Hao, would be an honorable mid-level sprite trainer. I heard that the form teacher of class 3 and class 4 is only mid-level. Su so Hao felt that things were getting bad. He was becoming a little arrogant. He even felt the wind while walking. But he couldn't control himself. Now that you've reached entry level, you'll also have to plan Silkworm Baby's future development direction. The cultivations before and after entry level are very different. You, as a sprite cultivator, should understand this, so I won't say much. Coach Xiong was very talkative today. He added, Silkworm Baby's final evolution is the Golden Winged Sky Silkworm. Currently, there are two mainstream cultivation methods. The first is close combat type. He explained. Su Hao remembered the six-winged flying silkworm owned by an older sprite cultivator. Its development direction was linear slicing. Its focus was on nurturing its wings and the sturdiness of its body. It could easily cut through with unique skills and was known as a golden killer. The other type is a close combat style of battle, mainly combining various unique skills. The main point is to let the sprite master various unique skills that can used for both long and short as well as far and close distances. Your silkworm baby is very nimble in using unique skills. You can try to take the second path. Of course, I'm just suggesting. The real choice depends on you and your silkworm baby. So how could only nod at Coach Xiong's kind intentions? He had never thought of letting silkworm baby go through the sequence of the golden-winged sky silkworm. But he couldn't say it. He could only wait for silkworm baby to evolve. At that time, he would include reasons that he had already prepared long before. Then, he would reverse engineer the evolution conditions for Silkworm Baby's new path, publish one or several papers, and it would be done. In the early years, when the evolution plan of sprites was still not perfect, many sprites evolved by chance. The sprite cultivators analyzed and deduced the evolution conditions required according to the cultivation direction of their sprites, the environments during their evolution, the materials they prepared, etc. After a few more experiments, it would be done. Su so Hao was preparing for Silkworm Baby to coincidentally touch another evolution pathway. Gurgle gurgle. Su so Hao had just walked to the guild hall and was about to leave when he suddenly heard Silkworm Baby's somewhat hurried calls from above his head. He was still deep in his thoughts so he took a few more steps forward. Just then, Silkworm Baby grabbed his hair. Gurgle, gurgle. Silkworm Baby grabbed his hair and twisted to the right like a pointer. Su so Hao stiffly turned his neck 90 degrees. 
he saw a huge poster at the side of the guild hall. An elephant general wearing a customized suit stood at the very center of the poster. It wore a low-key and luxurious flaxman watch and black sunglasses. Around it were a few sprites dressed similarly in trendy clothes. Su so Hao found this elephant general a little familiar. Thinking about it, didn't he see it on the cover of that thick-skinned book Elephant General Bud? Did it just debut as an idol? Su so Hao looked over and realized that not everything was true. It wasn't promoting a certain product, but it was promoting the Sprite ID card by the Union of Sprite Trainers. The little rascal was very envious, its watery eyes were fixed on those words and it couldn't move away. Gurgle, gurgle. You want to apply for an ID card. Su so Hao found it very troublesome. This was the first generation Sprite ID card that the union had just released. Its application was totally optional. During the application process, the Sprite was to be accompanied by a Sprite trainer. Actually, it's also pretty good to get an ID card for Sprites, Coach Xiong said at the side. Many sprites of high-level sprite trainers need to undergo special cultivation and training so they are often not brought around. With sprite ID cards, it's much more convenient for high-level sprites to travel around. It's said that at the very beginning, a certain Heavenly King-level sprite trainer's sprite went out to cultivate and when it headed home, it got lost due to its poor sense of direction. It wanted to ride a high-speed rail but it couldn't buy tickets because the sprite trainer wasn't by its side. It was only later that the Heavenly King proposed issues related to sprite travel at the union meeting. In the end, it evolved into the first generation sprite ID cards. Coach Xiong looked at Su Hao's Silkworm Baby and Little Fire Crow. After you apply for their identity cards, it'll be more convenient no matter what you do in the future. I reckon that in a few months, the union will implement a more comprehensive implementation. And right now, during the promotion period, you can apply for it for free. Hearing Coach Xiong's words, Silkworm Baby nodded fervently. The big guy was a good guy. Little Fire Crow tilted its head. Although it didn't know why its boss was so enthusiastic, it just nodded along.